Nick God is a Victory, it's one of the best real-time third-person shooter RPG title. And here you can fight using female robot characters called Nick, who are rigged to save the world from catastrophic machines called Raptors. And in this game, you must collect these Nicks in a gacha system that offers you a vast pool of fully-fledged 3D characters. And this, unfortunately, can be a breaking point for players who dislike the RNG related to gacha systems. Especially since there's no PD system on Nick Godness of Victory. But if that worries you just like it worries me, I have a few solutions that can make this whole gacha process much easier and reliable. And of that, of course, thanks to Bluestacks. So in today's video, I'll list some of the best features in Bluestacks that can drastically reduce the grind and increase your results when playing Nick Godness of Victory on your PC. Nick Godness of Victory isn't famous for not being the most reroll friendly game. And this is where Blue Stacks can help you out to reduce drastically the time you waste trying to reroll. The Blue Stacks Multi Instance Manager tool is a feature that allows you to open 2, 3, or even more instances of Blue Stacks at the same time. And for Nick Gods of Victory, this means that you can actually create multiple instances of Blue Stacks running this game all at the same time. Further, they can sync these instances such that whatever action are done in one instance are followed in all the other ones. This way, you can roll on multiple different accounts all at the same time, saving you a lot of time and also giving much higher chances of getting your favorite characters. So, to access this feature, all you need to do is open the multi instance function that already comes with Bluestack installation. And here on this screen, you can create as many instances as you like, as well as customize every single one of them. Nick Gods of Victor is a very fun and exciting game, and all of that thanks to a very dynamic third-person shooter combat system. But just demand that you are accurate and precise. You need to click at the right interval of time to efficiently defeat the waves of enemies. So you can use the key mapping tool, which emulates the touch and pad that you normally have on your mobile device, but instead you will be playing with your keyboard and mouse, giving you much more control over the game. And this will make you feel that you're just playing any other third-person shooter that is native to your PC. So to access this feature, all you need to do is just click on this keyboard shortcut right here on the side to gain access to the key mapping tool. And the best part is that these settings are fully customizable, allowing you to add, remove or change any of the settings to your liking. The stack is great when taking your processing power from your PC to give you the better performance and graphics. For instance, Nick Goddess of Victory is a next-gen game that uses a very powerful graphics and fluid animations, which is great when you want to play this game on all its glory. But sometimes, on the other hand, you just want to leave the game running idly on your PC while you do other tasks or play other games. And this can significantly slow down your device, especially if you have a low-end one. And this is where the Echo Mode comes into play. This feature allows you to reduce all of the processing needed to run any of the Bluestacks features or any of the Bluestacks games or applications. And even the most power hungry games, like Nick Gods of Victory, can be left open idly while the Echo Mode is active, saving your PC from consuming too much energy and processing power while you play other games or simply do other tasks. And this feature also goes hands with hand with the Multi Instance Manager tool I've just mentioned, allowing you to open even more instances of any game or application. So to access this feature, all you need to do is click on this icon right here on the side panel and then simply enable the Echo Mode. When you feel the need to multitask or just play other games while grinding on Nick Gods of Victory, but even with the Echo Mode active, you feel like it's still lagging, well, there is a perfect solution for such a problem. The Bluestacks Stream Memory. This flushes out the excess memory occupied by Bluestacks and frees up a significant amount of memory on your PC to run other applications or games faster and smoother. And this is especially useful in Nick Gods of Victory, which can take a lot of memory and increase your RAM consumption. The Train Memory feature can be accessed to the right hand side of Bluestacks and works wonder with just a single click. <music> we 
we take a lot of pride at Bluestacks for the best gameplay experience. And with Nick Gods of Victory, this is no exception. You can experience an amazing gaming experience on your PC with Bluestacks using your keyboard and mouse and having access to a ton of amazing features. And if you have any questions about all of the features I've mentioned in this video or anything related, feel free to ask them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. But anyway, that's it for today's video, thank you very much for watching and bye bye!